I'm so excited about today because it's the first cold day in LA. Welcome back to the vlog. Hi, I don't even know what to say. I'm excited. It's fall. Can you see? I do my hair. I got my puffer on. I did my fall lipstick and we went to Pete's. Duh. How can I start a fall vlog without some Pete's coffee? Pete's gives me such fall vibes. I don't know why. It's like the way that their shop is set up. Like any coffee shop really does it for me, but y'all know. Have to go to Pete's. There's actually a Phil's coffee down the street. And last time I tried Phil's, I didn't like it. So y'all have a specific Phil's order. Let me know. A sandwich too, because y'all, my stomach is kicking. Okay, brought my Advil. Your girl's on her period. But anyways, I thought today we would just have a fun day, get in the fall vibes. I knew it was gonna be like the first actual cold day here in LA. So like it's cloudy, it's just like perfect. And they just do it so good. That bitch knew what she was doing. Mm. I got a plant-based breakfast sandwich. Cause it's really the only thing I like to eat from there. Bought a ton of these little Touchland hand sanitizers. These are just the shit to keep everywhere. I'm gonna do a little fall vlog, a little fall shopping. I wanna get some Uggs. And the bitches are selling out the Uggs right now. So I'm hoping that I could get my hands on a pair. We might have to go to the other mall, but I don't know if I wanna do that. And honestly, I'm kinda scared to go places by myself now. Just because like all this shit I hear going on, like no, I do not want to deal with any of that. I'm just more comfortable going to this closer mall. Um, where it's like not as big not so many people. I kind of know it a little bit better I want to like decorate my not decorate but get some like cute Fall decor. I just enjoy the day together you and me before we actually get into this vlog and go to the mall I want to thank case of for sponsoring today's vlog <laughs> Y'all know I love case to five. Case to five phone case on right now. I have so many of these. It was literally the first phone case that I ever bought that was like customizable. I want to show you guys the ones that I got. This see-through case with the pink rim and it says you're my favorite person in the world. I thought that was so cute. I got this one that has this cute little pattern on it and it says you deserve every good thing this world has to offer and nothing less. I just think that this was so cute and honestly just a good reminder. <laughs> like a nice thing to see and read on your phone. This is the one I have on my phone right now. I love it. I love the customizable cases and the texture of the phone case is just so unique. Safari's latest protection technology, EcoShot, provides 20% more protection in their newest iPhone series. It can protect you from the height of an 11 and a half foot drop. Do <laughs> y'all know how tall that is? That's like three of me. No, not three of me. I already did my drop test so y'all can see, so I'm gonna insert that right here. Are y'all ready for the drop? Who's ready? Ready? <laughs> oh my God, it cracked. I'm kidding. Gotcha. Did I get you? <laughs> it always feels so nerve-wracking to like drop your phone, especially like on purpose. But look, look at here. Screen's perfectly fine. Y'all saw that drop? That was high. When you watch it like hit the ground, it like springs back up, almost like it hit a trampoline. Make sure y'all click the link in the description. I'll leave everything pasted on the screen here as well to get 15% off. Go get your phone case. These are my favorite phone cases. They're so durable. Really protect my phone. Let's get into this vlog. I'm gonna head to the mall right now and see if we can get some Uggs. I think I wanna get me the Y So Libre perfume. We're in Nordstrom. They have my shoes. They literally have them. These are the ones, hold on. I want the classic mini black. And this one I want as just a house slipper. I really didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Yeah. Cause some places like, I don't know, they just never have your, yeah, they yeah. just never have it. Yeah, like I said, we got a uh, sock now, which is very nice. Perfect, I love that. Before, you know, November, December crowds, cause. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because <laughs> then it's cold and then everyone wants to come. Exactly. I'm, I think our I'm beating be, everyone up. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then oh. just the email there. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I think we should have better stock this year anyways, because like a lot of the stuff was like stuck on the ships from last year because of COVID. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It, was, it, was, it was quite a struggle for sure. Everything was a struggle. It was. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you so much. One, right? I appreciate it. Have a good one. You thank you for your help. What was your name? Tyler. Tyler. Ashley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, this is the one I want. 
I don't know if they have it though. I also smell this one. This smells so good. The intense, not the regular one. That's fire. Back in the car. Look at my pit stains from walking around the mall for 20 minutes. <laughs> like, I didn't even do anything. What the hell? Anyways, that was so easy. I literally got everything that I wanted and the guy at the, there were, everybody was so nice. Everybody was like complimenting me. I was like, what is going on today? Maybe I should go out more on the weekends. Feeling loved today. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I want to show you guys what I got. This is the, let me tell you, the Maxi Curly Slide. I saw these online and I was like, I need a new house slipper. And so I just thought that these, sorry, my AC is blasting because my pit stains. I saw these and I was like, I need these. I hope they have them and they had them. I just needed a new house shoe, like ow, a shoe to wear inside the house. And I just thought these were literally perfect. So love those. I'm really, really happy that they had them. They really just like had everything there. Like they even had in stock the, the minis that everyone's obsessed with. I did get a mini boot, but not the ones that everyone, everyone's like getting the ultra minis, I think it is, but I don't really like those that much. I, I prefer the classic mini. So I got a classic mini boot, black classic mini boot. I prefer like this mini instead of the ultra mini. Just on me, I think because I have fat ankles, I just like don't think that the, I, just, I don't know. I'm just not really a fan of the uh, ultra minis. I've been wanting the black Uggs. I used to have the chestnut ones, but somebody stole them from me. Trust me, when we figure out who you are, you will be dealt with. Who stole my Uggs? I have no clue. Uh, when we used to live in Orange County, we lived um, in this one place and literally the people would come in and exchange my stuff for their stuff like one time there was this sweater that I was looking for in my closet and I'm going through my closet and where I thought it was there's a random sweater hanging up and I'm like whose sweater like who whose is this this is not mine two weeks later the sweater literally appears and the sweater that was there was gone my mom said a lot of her stuff was like missing too when we when I was in high school we've lived in a couple places that actually have gotten in trouble for um going in people's apartments and taking stuff <laughs> we've lived in two places where that's been a problem and where that's happened and that was one of the places so yeah it's not crazy that's like one of the scary things about like running an apartment is like people can just come like they have the keys you know what i'm saying <laughs> sketch as fuck sketch as fuck and anyways i'm wearing my knit uggs today i love these things look at these they're so freaking cute i went all the way to san francisco to get these because they were not in stock anywhere and this was like when I was like 15 years old and didn't have like you know a credit card or anything to like buy it online so went all the way to San Francisco to get me some Ugg boots <laughs> um but I love these boots so freaking much I love the knit Uggs I don't even know that they make them anymore do they they're fire oh, and then I got the YSL Libre perfume I forgot to tell you guys I'm gonna have to clear up these pit stains we're gonna go to tj maxx i don't think i want to go to home goods i think i just want to go to tj maxx see if they have anything there like little sweaters for harley and sadie any like treats for them any stuff that i can get like um for the fall like you know pumpkin dishes i don't know we're just gonna look so i want to get a sweater for me too Maybe I'll stop at Target. There's a Target across the street. Maybe I'll stop there. Like, I want a holiday sweater as well. So I want to make sure that I get me a sweater. My baby's a sweater. I want to get me and him matching pajamas. I'm going to have to order those online, though. Target, cute matching pajamas. Cute whole family matching pajamas. Love it. I wish they had the matching ones for the dogs, but they don't. But if anyone wants matching pajamas, um, go to Target. Oh, shit. Someone's waiting for my spot. Um, but yeah, so probably gonna go to Target and TJ Maxx. So that's where we'll go. We'll go to TJ Maxx first. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, y'all. We're in Target. Thank God. Nothing, of course. Every time I come here, that's what I say. Nothing for the pets. They have this. I'm thinking that Sadie could wear this. It's kind of cute. It's like a thick sweater. I don't know. It looks kind of cute, okay? Then they have this like boo one for Harley. I don't 
don't know if this will fit Sadie though. I'm thinking, I don't know. If not, I'll bring it back. This is the last of the fall stuff. I got the last one. And then I just got some creamer and treats for them, but literally there's nothing I can look Like, what the f Like there's literally nothing left. Um, I don't know if I should go to another Target and see if they have better selection on like pet sweaters, but. This is why I hate wearing lashes. Like, this is why I just don't. Because I sweat and then they just come right off. Like, this is, it's gonna be a no from me, babes. Like, it doesn't matter what type of lashes, what type of lash glue, like, the inner corner is always gonna lift because my eyes water and I start sweating. Two little um, sweaters. I really didn't have anything. Like, you just gotta order shit online now because just like they don't have shit in the store. This is my fall decor. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoy this. And Sadie some treats. Or out of all treats and greenies. Caramel macchiato, sugar free. Haven't been able to find this for a while. Glad I got my hands on one. Cause I wanna whisk this up. Not whisk it, but put it in my milk frother to make coffee tomorrow. And then I'm out of dish soap. And so I got the fall leaves scented dish soap because I love this cleaning spray. It's the Myers cleaning stuff. So yeah, that's like no food at the house though. And I will not go grocery shopping on the weekend. No way. Target was already like too much for me. I need to put my hand sanitizer on. I need to start wearing a mask because people's kids, what is going on with y'all's kids? Why do they hack in my face? Like literally a kid will literally like stand right next to me and go <laughs> like get your kid. Like literally get your kid. Your kid is like literally about to throw up on me. Let's go back home. I want to try these little outfits on Harley and Sadie and let's just see what the day brings. It's only 12 30. Um, I'm getting a little bit hungry so I want to go home and make something to eat. You guys look at their little sweater. <laughs> oh my God. Let me see. Let me see, Harley. This one's a turtleneck. I literally didn't even know. Look, it's a turtleneck. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> you guys are so perfect for your bubble. Okay, I feel like this definitely looks odd. <laughs> but this is my lunch. We got autumn squash soup from Panera. But I got it like in the packs at Costco. Some siete chips and then a quesadilla. It's gonna be delicious and I'm on my period. So I'm not making shit, okay? Look at my outfit. She's giving festive. Time to make pumpkin bread. This is from Trader Joe's. It's the gluten free one. It says all you need is one cup of water, half a cup of oil, and two eggs. Let me preheat the oven. This touch screen shit is fancy. I don't know about that. I've never tried this one from Trader Joe's, but I think it'll be good. bread mix is done and ready. I just have to wait for the oven to be done. But I went to the store and look what I got. Microwave popcorn because I just haven't had it in so long and I was thinking that I want to watch like a Halloween movie tonight. Maybe like Halloween Town. I already watched the second Hocus Pocus. A lot of people didn't like it but I thought it was cute. I wasn't expecting it to be like groundbreaking and really follow the story of the first one because the first one is so iconic obviously and the only people that are in the second one is the three sisters like that's it they don't use any of the same people so i didn't expect it to you know follow the original storyline but they definitely like modernized it to like today's age um like you could definitely tell like it was taking place in like 2022 you know what i'm saying so I thought it was cute for what it was. I also got one of these little sparkling ice drinks. I was just walking looking for the popcorn and I saw this and I was like, I forgot how good these are. The best one, kiwi strawberry. Oh my God. They're literally just 
sparkling waters. But they're so freaking good. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all when the pumpkin bread comes out. <laughs> <gasps> pumpkin bread was delicious <gasps> I cut the rest of it up into these like big slices so I can put it on this like cake <gasps> serving tray you guys can't really see what I'm doing hold on one second I've been waiting to bake something finally to place on this tray I literally just didn't have the time but now I finally baked something I want to like try a new bake recipe like every week if I can find the time like on Sundays because I would love to keep this thing filled up with like different types of treats and stuff if people come over um and I just think that would be something so fun homemade baked treats in the thing obviously this is like a box thing but i really want to like get into baking i feel like it's just something that makes me happy and i want to get good at it you know i really want to make i was just saying today how i want to make a tear cake for my birthday it's not for like another what six months five months but i really want to make my own birthday cake stop it's literally everything okay morning y'all it is 8 a.m the next day i just thought we would continue into the next day because i got tired last night and fell asleep this morning we're at air one because i want to try this new smoothie it's the Kourtney Kardashian smoothie and it's like black and white so it looks so cool. It's so on like theme for Halloween and fall. So I just thought it would be fun to try that. I wasn't very hungry this morning which is weird because usually I wake up and I'm craving like a six course meal especially on my period. So odd but I'm not very hungry at all. So I was like oh let me go get a smoothie and I really want to try this one and last time we tried the Hailey Bieber one and it was very good. Gonna continue this theme and try all the freaking celebrity smoothies and see what they're giving. Okay. Got it! This is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? Like, it's just so on theme for fall and all. It's got like charcoal in it. That's what makes it black, I guess. I don't even know. There was a bunch of stuff that I never even heard of in here, so. <laughs> okay. It's not bad. I think I like the Hailey Bieber one more. This one kind of has a bitter aftertaste, but I get it again for $18. No, but it was cute to try. Some work to do, and then we have a sauna appointment at one. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get back on my sauna grind. I love the infrared sauna. I have been in the sauna for like 20 minutes now. This is a lot harder than I remember. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. They had it set to like 150. Bitch, I was boiling. You don't see my eye? It's like twitching. Anyways, I set it to 137 because it was like, literally, you're crazy. Like, there's no freaking way. I'm getting a good sweat on. Y'all see that? I turned the lights on, but it really usually just looks like this. Which is like a vibe, but I love this lighting. Like, it goes around the hole. It's pretty big. It can fit probably like three people, honestly. But, yeah, you used to be able to change these lights, but I don't know how to do that like i looked on here but i couldn't figure it out so anyways this is like a spot for your phone so it doesn't get um hot if i wanted to like turn these up i turned the 
um, heat down but all I have to do is turn the temperature up and they'll turn back on and see I'm just gonna vibe out I've been laying down they give you like a little pillow and I just lay down let the sweat drip off me and just like do a little meditation it's so hard to like meditate and focus though when you're boiling but once I get out it's like such a great feeling so yeah that's what's going on got my peaches out in Georgia oh yeah shit I get my weed from California that's that shit I took my pick up to the north yeah badass bitch I get my light right from the source yeah yeah that's it and I see you oh, oh, oh. way I breathe you in it's a tax to I think you guys can see that, but that is like a bad brush. I think it's just because my skin gets so dry. This little tray, this little like heart dish, I'm pretty sure it's from the thrift store. I've had it since I was like young, but yeah, you can find these really cute like jewelry dishes and stuff from the thrift store. So putting my jewelry in there, I'm out of the bath. I'm feeling good. Tonight we're gonna use this pumpkin overnight face mask because it's fall. I want to use all my pumpkin scented stuff. This is from Trader Joe's. Basically, it's just a moisturizer, but you leave it on your skin overnight. I love the smell of it too. I'm just gonna lather a ton of this on on my lips. I'm just gonna use Aquaphor. I think I'm gonna put a little bit on this like little rash thing on my neck too aquaphor is like my holy grail for everything while i sit in bed i'm going to put on some of this healthy feet <sighs> usually i use my bag bomb this is like my favorite stuff i just love it it works really well for my feet but i want to try this again i tried it for like a week and i just didn't like it i didn't think it was that good like people were hyping it up and i just didn't think it was that good so i'm going to try to retry it again and see if i like it even though the bag bomb is never going to steer me wrong but i have this in my collection so it's like before i toss it out let me try and see if i like it again and then i'm going to use my pumpkin body butter also from trader joe's i'm gonna dry brush first i have these eye drops i really need to get that needs to be on my list of things at target I always have a list for Target. Like I always in my notes app have a list of things that need to be got at Target. I just automatically make a new list because I know that there's gonna be something that I need next week, within the week, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and then I just use the little like, you guys know that you can do that where you can like check it off. Okay, oops, where you can like check it off like that that's what i do in my notes like literally look this was all the stuff that i had to get done today there we go checking off my last thing yeah, this is literally how i keep track i ordered a planner off of amazon i'm sure it will be coming for right now i just do it all digitally i don't have an ipad the girlies are saying to get the ipad planner let me know if it's worth it like if you have an ipad planner and you use it let me know is it worth it i need a list to know what is going on that day it just helps me structure out my day like I just won't really know what's going on if I don't make a list of things that need to get done. Even if it's like simple things like laundry, dishes, the most simple things you can forget or push it back. You know what I'm saying? So it's just easier to write lists and always title them can do. It's like takes the pressure off. I feel like, oh, well, this can get done, but it doesn't have to get done. It makes you want to do more things. You know what I'm saying? So that's my tip of the day. Put some eye drops in. I have a fear of eyes, big fear of eyes. Don't know what it is. It's very odd, but I've heard a lot of people say that you guys also have a fear of eyes too. So I'm not alone. And that makes me feel better about myself. My friend taught me to put it in your eye. Like, just like, here, let me show you. Like if you also have a fear of eyes or just like can't go like this and drop it in because I literally can't do that. Go like this, open it up, put it in the corner and then just open it and it'll get in there. Literally the best advice I've ever gotten because I just can't open my eye and go like, no, like I will throw up, like I will literally puke. <laughs> that's how scared I am of eyes, I don't know what it is. So that's going to wrap up this fall day in my life, not day days okay it's been a few days but 
Um, I love you guys, and I hope to see you in my next motherfucking video. Bye, boogles. Mwah.